Hey guys, Super Buff here, and I'm here for another XGO tutorial for you today. This is going to be on UI scroll views, and we're just simply going to be implementing a UI scroll view into our iPhone application. Okay, so go ahead and open a view based application or, or an existing XGO project. Okay, I'm just going to use a view based application. Go and call it test, save it to our desktop, and the XGO project menu should open up. Okay, first thing we're going to need to do is add a UI scroll view to our interface. So come into the resources folder. And you see we've got a view control that XIB. Open this up. Okay. Now we're gonna need to drag and drop a UI scroll view into our application, like so. Uh, now you're gonna need to drag on from the library. If you haven't got library open, you can do so by going into the menu bar, clicking tools, and clicking the library. Okay, now save this. Hide interface builder. We just need to add a few bits of code now. So come into our classes folder in the XO project menu and you see we've got a view control that H and a view control that M. Come to the view control that H and add in the following code. IB outlet space UI scroll view space star and give the scroll view a name. So I'm just gonna call it um let's see, test scroll. Semicolon save. Okay, come into our view controller M. And now we're just gonna be adding a short little action to enable the scroll view. So we want the scroll view to load up immediately um, as the application opens. So we're going to need to use the super view did load method. So uncomment it and add in the following code. Square brackets, test scroll. That was the name of the scroll. So we need to write whatever you've named your scroll. You need to write it here. Space set scroll enabled. Yes close square brackets, semicolon. So obviously we just enable the scroll, uh, the UI scroll view. Enter, open square brackets, test scroll, or the name of your scroll, set content size, uh, CG size, make, and then open, open brackets. Ooh, sorry about this. Okay, and now we're going to be typing in the width of the scroll, so that's 320, we want the width of the iPhone page, and now the height, and you can put the height, uh, you know, whatever you want, uh, I'm just going to set mine to around 800, close brackets, close square brackets, semicolon, save. Okay, now once again, coming back to the height and the width, first of all, the width, you know, preferably you want it the same size as the iPhone screen, but obviously, you know, in in terms of your application, you may have a different application. You may want it smaller or bigger, so that's up to you there. I'm just going to set mine the same size as the iPhone screen. And the height, you can pretty much set to what you want. Um, this is for an iPhone application, so I'm not going to make it too long. But, you know, if you're using an iPad application, once again, it'll probably be bigger. So I'm just set mine to 320 by 800 and save. Okay, now a few last things going to need to do. We're going to need to come back into Interface Builder. And we're going to need to link our scroll view to the actual code. So, uh, see here we've got uh, two tabs, one with the actual view itself, and uh, one uh, with uh, all the elements of our XIB. So click on Files Owner, and you're going to need to open up the Inspector. Yeah, If you haven't done so already, come to the menu bar, click Tools, and click on Inspector. Okay. Come to the Connections tab, and you see it says Test Scroll under Outlets. That's because, remember, we set an IB outlet, and we call it Test Scroll. So just drag and just drag this and connect it to our UI scroll view, like so, and save. Now if you really want to test the scroll view to make sure it works, you may want to just add a few elements to the scroll view itself. So let's just go ahead and just add in a switch. Uh, but once again, we're going to take it down a bit. So obviously, you know, if you have if you don't have a UI scroll view here, you wouldn't be able to see that switch. But hopefully, we have to scroll down the page and see the switch. Round right button and activity indicator. Okay, save whatever. Hide Interface Builder, and Build and Run. So, uh, as long as we've done everything correctly, um, this should work perfectly. There we go, the build has succeeded, and here comes our iPhone application. Okay, so there's our round rec button, and there's our uh, UI activity indicator, but where's the switch? Yay, the scroll view works. There we have it, a UI scroll view working perfectly in an iPhone application. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, Hope you enjoy my videos. If they're helpful, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.